Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me waking up at 5am for a straight week and kind of seeing how I felt. Um, I really wanted to try this out just because a lot of the influential people I watch here on YouTube, um, I see their morning routines and they're always waking up super early and they say that's when they find that they're most productive. So I really wanted to put this to the test and see if I was going to be the most productive in the morning and if it really helped to just get stuff done for me and get all my goals accomplished for the day and help make even my YouTube a little bit more productive. So this was my game plan. Wake up at 5 a.m., make my bed, meditate. I like to use the app called Headspace. Um, there's a lot of different ones out there and there's a lot of different selections on Headspace too. Um, I, of course, for my first one, picked early mornings. I thought it was a perfect one to start with. And I like to get up, make my morning drink, so this includes half a lemon, um, my green six powders from the gut lab, and then some water, mix it up, and then I just like to kind of mix it and drink it all right then and there. It actually doesn't taste bad at all. It actually tastes fairly good. Um, so then I make my tea and just kind of plan my day with my planner and get all the goal settings done that I need so I know what I need to do that day. Um, then I wanted to work for a couple hours. Then I thought I would make some breakfast and then I would do some exercising, the like hit workouts, or I would do some yoga. All right, so it's day one, and I woke up and got out of bed instantly. Like, I didn't even think about it, just got up, got out of bed. Um, I meditated for about 10 minutes, just kind of in the dark, and I lit my candle as well. Um, and then I just instantly started working. I have been productive. I feel like I could have been a little bit more productive. Um, but I got a lot done and it is currently 7.15, so that's great. The first person has left the house, so I'm actually going to go upstairs and mix my morning drink. And then I'm also going to make a tea as well and then come back down and work for a few, um, maybe like an hour more. And then I will probably get some breakfast. But overall, um, I'm feeling good. I'm not tired, but we shall see how I feel the next couple of mornings. <laughs> So this morning, I actually haven't filmed anything for my morning. Um, I did actually wake up at 4.45 though, because Ryan, that's what time Ryan gets up for work. So I just got up when he got up, and then while he was in the shower and everything, I did my meditation for 10 minutes, and then by the time he got out of there and came back, I was already done. And then it was kind of nice because we uh, got up together and like made coffee, and tea and just kind of had a morning together which was really really nice instead of me just sleeping sleeping in and then him just going so that was great um so yeah i did wake up at 4 45 and i've had a much more productive morning um i've just been here on my laptop just really putting in a lot of work and kind of just figuring out what i want my, the style of my youtube thumbnails to kind of look like so i've just been dabbling with different fonts and different colors and stuff like that so that's what i've kind of been doing all morning um and um in the meantime just kind of having like youtube videos on in the background as well hi <laughs> um but the reason i remembered to film was because i spilled chai tea all over myself so that was also that this morning, um, but I'm having a very productive morning and I haven't had any trouble getting up. I like literally, Ryan's alarm went off and I was like up. So I feel very productive and just getting a lot of stuff accomplished, which is really great. So this is day three of my waking up at 5 a.m. Feeling good now. This morning, I didn't really want to get up. I still got up at like 4.55, I think I looked at it, um, when Ryan got up for work. Um, I got up and again we kind of just had the morning together. Um, I was really exhausted this morning now So I'm on my way to work and I'm probably gonna make myself a coffee as well once I get there, but um, This morning because I usually post my YouTube videos on Wednesdays um, So today's Friday and I'm filming this video right now, which will go up next Wednesday I don't really have that much to do um, in the morning right now, so I kind of just like watched YouTube videos and hang out and which kind of made me more tired and then I was like hey I really need to wake up so I had a really good workout but I definitely think like in the mornings and stuff you really need to have a game plan of what you're going to do otherwise it's not as productive as you want it to be and that's the whole point of waking up at 5 a.m. is that is that you have so much pr productivity um, and you just have so much time to do things so that was 
was the only thing. So what I noticed on day four is that I was extremely hungry. Like because I would eat earlier in the morning than I normally would, then by the time like 10 o'clock came, I was hungry again. And then by the time like noon came, I was hungry again. And then like three came, I was hungry again. And then like five and then nine, I was so hungry and I just wanted to eat all the time. Um, so I don't know if that's the effect of just waking up earlier or because I was also exercising uh, quite frequently. So yeah, that's just something I noticed on day four. On day five, I actually did something to my back and I just had like some tightness and tension in my back and it was shooting up through my neck and giving me a headache all day the day before. So um, day five, I just woke up, went upstairs, warmed up a heat pad and I just laid back in bed and listened to a podcast for like an hour and a half, I think the podcast was. So I just laid there and kind of just relaxed. And then I got up and got stuff done. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to have like the strict, strict rules. Um, I still followed it that day on day five. I just was kind of a little bit more slow going <laughs> in the morning because my back really hurt. Day six was actually a really productive morning. Again, I got straight out of bed day five. I had no problems getting up whatsoever. And I had a massage the day before, so my back was feeling a lot better. I didn't have a headache anymore. And again, I was just feeling really productive. I got up when everyone was sleeping and filmed little bits for this video. And I was feeling very, very productive that day. Work went good. I wasn't feeling tired. Um, although I did notice throughout this whole entire experience with getting up early, I did go to bed around 10 o'clock instead of staying up till 11 or 12. Obviously, I wanted to get at least seven hours of sleep, which was my goal. So... So yeah, I was still super productive and it made me go to bed earlier and not like scroll on my phone. So that was perfect as well. So day seven, which is today, I set my alarm this morning for six o'clock instead of five because I did stay up a little bit later um, than I was anticipating, but I always wanted to get that seven hours of sleep just so that I was feeling could feel productive the next day and not feel groggy and tired. Um, I did get up right away um, and then everyone left the house and I started filming this video. Overall, my experience was really, really well. Um, I think during the week, I will wake up at 5 a.m. and really smash out everything. Um, Mondays and Fridays, I actually work at nine and the rest of the days of the week, I actually work at one till nine. So Mondays and Fridays, I think I will still wake up at five, but I don't think I will be as productive just because I have to get ready or earlier for work. Whereas when I work one till nine, I have all day just to be productive and really get stuff done for this channel and yeah, just be productive. That's what I think I'm gonna do from this point on. On weekends, however, it all depends because Ryan works shift work, so it all depends, I feel, on if he's home, um, then I'll probably wanna sleep in and just spend the morning with him, wake up, make coffee, and just kind of relax and not be on my laptop. Whereas if he's working during the weekend, then I think I will still continue to wake up earlier in the morning and just kind of be still productive because I can and then there's no one around kind of distracting me or that I'm wanting to spend time with as well. All in all, I would highly recommend doing this challenge for yourself and just waking up at 5 a.m. for a week straight and just kind of see how you feel. Um, I just felt so productive and I think it just really shows different insights on you and what else you can accomplish when you're pushing yourself to the limits. Mentally and physically as well, I felt uh, better because I was getting in my exercise. I had scheduled time for when I was exercising and mentally just because I got so much done. And I think the main key is just to get out of bed as soon as your alarm goes off. Just get out of bed and that first task of the day is finished and you're feeling super motivated. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I will see you on my other platforms. I hope you're all having an amazing day. See you later.